The B-2 target complex was designed to represent an airfield and is just under one mile long by 100 to 200 yards wide. Nine pads were constructed to simulate an aircraft revetment, helicopter pad, tower, vehicle park, a building, a hangar, an SA-6 site, a petroleum storage area, and a SCUD site. In addition, there were two simulated runways on either side of the pads. One runway was graded and the other consisted of open desert. The test objective was to attack the target area with 80 guided JDAM 500 pound weapons on a single pass with a single B-2 bomber. The weapons contained inert warheads and were all targeted to different aim points. The aircraft successfully targeted and released all 80 weapons from approximately 40,000 feet. From onboard the aircraft, externally and internally mounted weapons bay cameras recorded the weapon separations. The weapons appear to come out sideways due to the orientation of the cameras as installed. After a nominal fall time of approximately one minute, the weapons began to strike the target complex. Range cameras affording various views of the weapons hitting the targets photographed each pad. Targets located on the pads can be seen being hit by weapons with runway hits also in the foreground, background and to the sides. Weapons can be seen as they strike the complex. From this perspective, the impacts start in the distance and approach the camera. Notice the impacts walking up the runway. The simulated aircraft revetment consisted of three cargo vans arranged in a horseshoe shape with a barrel in the middle representing a parked aircraft. Weapons were targeted at each C van and the barrel and all were direct hits. In the foreground is a weapon strike on the graded runway. The tower pad consisted of several sea vans arranged in a realistic fashion. Six weapons were targeted at different points of the complex. Five weapons were direct hits with one weapon within just a few feet of the intended aim point, well within lethal range. The simulated hangar was composed of three sea vans parked side by side and parallel to one another. Three weapons were targeted down the center of the middle van. Seen here with a runway hit in the foreground is the simulated SA-6 surface-to-air missile battery. Nine vehicles were parked in this cluster, all targeted with one weapon each. Weapons hit well within lethal range with several direct hits. The Scud site consisted of four vehicles, including a launcher under a camouflage net. All sustained direct hits 